Hi, I'm Sabin Yaakov. This presentation is an answer to a previously posted uh, riddle on a one-directional bridge. The riddle went like that. Here is a load composed of an inductor plus a resistor. This is the equivalent circuit of the load. And this load has to be fed by current one direction and has to be controlled. One possibility is to use a buck converter, we have here a transistor, a diode, which will feed this load by the required current. Another possibility is to use a more sophisticated circuit having two transistors, two diodes like this. And again, this is the load. The current has to be in one direction, only one direction. And the question is, what is the advantage of this topology over the simple buck? That is, here we have the buck, which can also feed the current. And here we have a more sophisticated circuit. And the question was, what is the advantage of this circuit? Now, the key issue here is the control of the current. Now, one limitation of a control of a variable of a either voltage or current of a output of a converter would be the slew rate. That is, this converter has to be capable of slowing up, in this case current, the, the IDT should be at least a given value depending on the requirement. This goes for the up section and the down section. Now if, however, a converter will have a slew rate which is lower then the profile of the current say that is required, then obviously the converter will not be able uh, to, deliver, to deliver this current. It will follow the maximum possible DIDT. So in this case, we have two slew rates involved. One is the up that is increasing the current. And in this case, the current will follow this equation and therefore the slew rate of the current is this expression and the maximum value is V in over I, which is kind of reasonable because at the beginning there's no current and so the inductor is limiting the rate of increase of the current. Now what happens when the current has to be reduced? Well in this case the current is enclosed here and the rate at which the current will go down depend only on this circuit, which is just a RL circuit. And this is the expression for the reduction of the current as a function of time. And therefore, the maximum rate at which the current can go down will be this expression, depending on the initial value and the time constant of the circuit. However, if we have the possibility of another path, and that will be this path here, that is when we like to reduce the current, to decrease it, then we turn off this, turn off this, and the current flow this one, then we have a full voltage imposed on the inductor in the reverse direction. So therefore we can say that in this case, the rate at which the current will decrease will be, first of all, the by superposition, uh, the self-discharge, uh, and then this expression for the voltage imposed on the, on the load. And this boils down to the maximum DIDT of this nature. Comparing it to what we had before, then in this case of the buck, we had only this expression, while here we have an additional value. So therefore, the current can go down very steeply and reach zero. Otherwise, it will reach zero exponentially. So this is uh, one possible advantage of this circuit in terms of the control. So what about the modulation schemes? There are a number of methods that can be used. I'm going to show uh, two. One is to keep Q1 off, I'm talking about the down section. During the up section, we can use just a regular uh, buck converter. Now, in the down section here, we can 
leave Q1 off and then just modulate Q2. Then when Q2 is on, we are discharging the current this way, and then when it is off, we are discharging the current uh, this way, because here we are imposing again a voltage which is uh, in the reverse direction. However, there is a limit to the rate at which we can go down, because uh, in either case we are sort of discharging, and the slowest rate will be this one. So even if we keep this one on all the time, there is a certain rate at which it will go down. We can't go, uh, we can't keep the current higher. So in order to remedy this, we can go to method number two, in which uh, during the um, downside, we are keeping Q1 on all the time. So when Q2 is on, we are actually increasing the current. However, when we uh, put it off, then we can reduce the current. And in fact, if we, during having this one off, we'll have also this one off, the current will actually be reduced even farther. So these are the possibilities. And now comes another addendum to this uh, riddle. And the question is now, what would be the advantage of using four transistors? That is, rather than having two transistors and two diodes, uh, what is the advantage of using four transistor for the purpose of feeding a current one direction? I'm not talking about a bi-directional current. I'm still talking about a one-directional current. And there is an advantage, and of course there are some disadvantages too. So this brings me to the end of this uh, presentation. I thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you.